Who helped us understand this? This guy. I know you all want to go to medical school. Most of you are now, by now, third year. Um, you want to go to medical school. Some of you wants to go to dentistry school or pharmaceutical school. Um, but uh, here's, a, here's a man who dedicated his life to the study of gases and molecules and discovered a very important relationship that is now applied in many, 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 many different fields. That's why he won the Nobel Prize, because he, based on his studies and his scientific endeavor, he explained a physical phenomena in the universe that is very applicable to everything that we do in life. So, um, if you haven't decided yet, right, what you're going to be doing in your career, what school you're going to go to, I want you to think about some of the greatest scientists, right, that have left behind them an impact that will affect humanity for eternity, so long as we live on this earth, right? How many doctors really have won Nobel Prize because of their impact on the field? Very, very, very few, right? But scientists, they spend their life study these phenomena. Why? Because they see the beauty of it. They're thrilled, they're trickled by it. They don't sleep at night thinking about the problem. How can I explain that problem? Of course, they're going to have to invest a lot of education in getting to becoming these scientists, but, but I want you to actually think about it, right? Why would somebody just sit there and using all his time, right? Uh, maybe it wasn't making much money, but uh, at the time, you know, maybe uh, uh, people in his neighborhood, you know, uh, could care less about this guy just going back here and there. He's not carrying his jacket and going to medical school and showing off. It's like he doesn't care. He's just like, he cares about something that really bothered him and he wants an explanation for it. Newton, same thing, right? Spent his life doing that. Einstein. These are people who are actually uh, taking good education, right? Taking scientific methodology to come up with things that will impact us all in many different things. I mean, the smarty pressure right now is like, is using every, every, every single physical application, you know? Uh, and that's just one of many greatest scientists, right? So I want you to think about it this way. You go to high school, you try to study something, try to love what you studied, being physics, being chemistry, being biology. Uh, and, and if you don't make it to medical school, it's fine. It's fine. It's not the end of the world. Find something else. In fact, get a really, really good score and choose not to go to medical school because there's something equally important, even more important. Okay, so I really want to highlight this point on day one of class because um, uh, I think science is very underappreciated and uh, our culture in the Arab world doesn't really value science in general um, because they just don't understand it. They haven't touched it. Uh, but uh, I'm telling you, as a person who lives in the West, everything is driven by science. You're alive today. You're alive today because of the discoveries of biologists that are able to come up with a, with, with a vaccine against coronavirus. If it wasn't for that, we would be all dead, right? It took us a few months to get to a vaccine, but here you go. It wasn't a doctor that discovered that. It was the labor and activities of many, many, many biologists. Biologists that had great training in chemistry and physics and in the sciences in general. And they eventually become great scientists, right? They have many applications. I'm not saying this is better or that's worse, you know, doctor or not, but I'm saying that there are many things in life uh, that are undervalued and the sciences are one of them. And I want you to change your, your opinion about this topic. This is not a topic that you memorize and, and, and get good grades in school and go to medical school. This is a topic that's really important in its own right. Enjoy it. Learn from it. Maybe that will be okay. Maybe you're going to become a biologist. Maybe you're going to become a geneticist. Maybe you're going to become the next Ahmed Zouil. We need more of those. We need, we need some of those. Okay? Um, so that's that.